Exclusive at 10. Today, the Harrison County Health Department announced a new mask mandate to fight the spread of COVID-19. That goes into effect Thursday. That means that for the first time this semester, the five school districts in that Missouri County will also require face masks on campus. 41 Action News anchor Taylor Hemnes talked to three superintendents there about the challenges they've faced. Harrison County, Missouri has five school districts, North and South Harrison, Canesville, Ridgeway, and Gilman City. Today, none of them have mask mandates on campus. That all changes Thursday when the countywide mask mandate goes into effect. We're like any other community, and uh, there are some that believe in mandates, some that do not believe in mandates. South Harrison's superintendent, Dennis Easton, says the school board chose no mandate in August. Since then, roughly 500 quarantine orders have been issued for students and staff. Ridgeway is a much smaller district with fewer than 100 kids in K through 12th grade. They've shut their doors twice this year. Once it was, you know, we had um, a couple positive cases in the school and in the area. So we were kind of hoping to just shut everything down and get everything cleaned and try to prevent a longer period of time. And then this last one, we had several cases in the, in the community and the school. So. We shut down for um, seven days. Superintendent Johnny Beavers, on quarantine herself when we spoke, estimated that 80% of parents and staff members in Ridgeway don't support a mask mandate. These students are still doing things after school together. You know, it's a small town. They're going to go to ball games. They're going to go do things where there's not mandated to wear a mask. Beavers told 41 Action News the school will comply with the county's mask mandate. COVID-19 had an even stronger effect on Gilman City School District. They've already closed their doors for the rest of this semester. It was the number of quarantines. We went into Thanksgiving break with virtually no students out whatsoever. We came back and it just, we just uh, had a rush of cases. And so oh, I think when we shut down, we were roughly right around 40 kids out and several staff members as well, and we just couldn't endure that. In November, Governor Mike Parson issued new guidelines for schools and masks. If both individuals at school, the person diagnosed with COVID-19 and the person exposed to the positive case, have masks on and are wearing them correctly, the individual exposed does not need to quarantine. Taylor Hymnus, 41 Action News. Now, South Harrison School Board actually met tonight to discuss the mask mandate, but we are still waiting to hear what they've decided.